coffee cups and cigarettes laying around the room. I don't mind a little mess, just wanna stay with you. And we'll do anything that we want today. Won't be scared of falling down no more. So take me away. Tuesday, May 28th. <laughs> I just got ready for the gym. I took a little hiatus from the gym. I didn't go at all last week. And I think the week before I went once. I took a little break. I actually haven't taken that long of a break from working out since before I started my little fitness journey. So yeah, I'm forcing myself to go today because I don't have anything to do, so I have to go to the gym. Go grocery shopping. I start work on Thursday, so it's not really, like, necessary to go grocery shopping because I'm only going to need to pack breakfast and lunch for two days. So, realistically, I really don't have to go grocery shopping, but I don't want to be eating out this week, like, dinner. But I went to Target yesterday, if you watched my other vlog, and I just feel like the food at Target is... Not necessarily overpriced, but they don't really do as many sales and things as Stop and Shop or just like your regular grocery store would do. So I wasn't going to buy like protein bars or snacks because they were very overpriced in my opinion. So I didn't buy anything at Target, like food, so I have to go to the grocery store today. That's basically it. If you haven't watched my other vlog, I ordered a whole bunch of stuff from J. Crew factory for work which isn't supposed to get here until next week but that's fine because I only have two days of work this week so I don't really need you know too many outfits and I also got my hair cut on Friday and it looks so good the girl did an amazing job you guys know my hair was super super long but it was pretty dead she took off I want to say like two solid inches because it was probably to here so it was probably like an inch and a half but she put in so many little angles around my face and she cut into the ends a lot because I hate when my hair is just blunt at the ends. I really don't like blunt cuts on my hair so she cut a lot into it so it doesn't look so flat and it just looks so good. Like she did such a great job. I need to get my color done too but I just have to make an appointment for that. Whoa, I really do need to get my color done. So that's it. I'm gonna go finish getting ready for the gym and I'll update you after. This is my gym outfit of the day. Haven't done one of these in quite a while. <laughs> so my shirt is just old, old, old Aeropostel. I love wearing scrunchies to the gym even though they look kind of ridiculous because they don't give you that crease in your hair. So if you're doing something after the gym, like going grocery shopping, your hair doesn't look that bad. But then I'm just wearing my Thread for Thought sports bra. Lululemon Wonder Unders and these Payless Steve Madden knockoffs. Obviously, if I was running or doing something, I would wear like real sneakers, but I very rarely run. So, yeah, this is the gym outfit of the day. Okay, I'm leaving the gym. I'm going to Stop and Shop now. It is raining. Lovely. Uh,. At the gym, I just, I ended up doing 10 minutes of cardio because I don't know how else to start my workout. I really just like to go on the elliptical and scan the gym, see like what machines are open, what area I can do like my floor workouts in because the gym is like usually packed. So that's how I like gather my thoughts and figure out what I'm going to do. So I did just a 10 minutes today instead of a half hour and then I did a leg workout because I feel like my leg workouts are the ones that make me sweat the most, makes my heart rate the highest. So that's what I did. Now we're going food shopping. It is 11.30. So again, no plans for the rest of today. So we'll just see what I end up doing. I have to call my hairdresser to get my highlights done. But, oh, I don't know why I just hate calling there. <laughs> but I have to. Gotta let my sweat and my hair dry right now. It's really gross, but I have to.
grocery haul. I was so hungry grocery shopping, which is like the cardinal rule, never do that, but it was too late. So I got a lot of random things. I got some Ritz toasted chips, and I also got these little non small things. That's to go with the hummus that I got, by the way. Then I got two Velveeta blueberry uh, granola bars. I don't know. I've talked about these before. They keep me full for so long, which is weird because they really don't have a lot of protein in them. Or they have, they have a lot of carbs. I don't know, but they keep me really full. So these will be great for work. I got bananas. I got avocados. There's another one in here somewhere. Hummus was buy one, get one free. So I got two roasted red pepper. And I also got the supremely spicy one. Hello, Lucy. The supremely spicy one is good, but it's really spicy. Then I got these morning star chicken patties. It's um, not real meat. It's like um, vegetarian chicken. I used to eat these all the time. They're really good. And then I got Chipotle black bean vegetable burgers as well. I got some riced cauliflower. I got some yogurt. They only got three because they weren't on sale. But these have 17 grams of protein and six grams of fiber. So that's a pretty good amount. And it comes with, what kind is this? Cocoa clusters and um, like granola, I think. So it's just more interesting than regular yogurt. Yeah, none of this is like the healthiest stuff ever. But I really don't follow any sort of diet. I'm not someone who eats super clean. It's just not who I am. I live like the average healthy lifestyle, I think, and that's it. I got some of these Nature's Promise Organic Macaroni and Cheese, you guys know. I love these. I haven't bought them in a while because I was eating them way too much, so I stopped buying them. But I really wanted them and I was starving and the weather today is such a macaroni and cheese weather kind of day. Then I just got some more iced coffee. This is the best iced coffee you can buy pre-made. It is unsweetened and it actually tastes pretty strong. And then I just got a little bit of creamer as I'm just, I just would rather just do a little drop of that. It's fine, it's fine, really. And the last thing I got was only because I was so hungry, some Cocoa Puffs. I haven't had cereal probably in like years, but Again, I was starving. So never go food shopping hungry. That's the moral of the story. So I'm going to put all this stuff away and I'll see you after. We do our best to hide. Innocence fading away as we learn the truth and we'll be anything that we want to be. Gotta get what's coming in. morning you guys so I was supposed to wake up early this morning I was like okay I'm gonna wake up just so I can kind of shock my body because tomorrow I'm gonna have to wake up at like 5 5 30 in the morning probably wake up more around six but I was gonna wake up early so I could shock myself so I would be able to go to bed early tonight well I woke up later than ever I woke up at 9 30 
so that didn't work. So tomorrow's gonna be one hell of a wake up for me. But I'll talk more about my schedule for tomorrow, my first day of work and all of that because I'm really not even sure of it right now, like what time I have to wake up and everything. But I just wanted to start the vlog. I'm drinking my iced coffee, watching some Mackie McDonald in bed. And then I think I'm gonna work out at home today. I don't feel like going to the gym for some reason. So I will show you that once I work out. I'm doing a little voiceover for this so I can explain what I did. So for my biceps, I just did regular bicep curls and I supersetted that with hammer curls, which is just when you keep the weights uh, perpendicular to the floor and this hits your triceps pretty well. Then I did some push-ups. Yes, I have to do this form of push-ups. I cannot do a regular push-up to save my life. But this is really just a bicep tricep workout just to be clear i didn't do shoulders i didn't really do chest and then the next exercise i do are these tricep i don't know what to call them but you just put the weight behind your head these really kill your tricep area sorry i don't know the name of like any workout i'm doing but i'm really not a fitness guru or anything i just work out and you guys have requested to see it and then I also just did some leg workouts because my legs weren't really that sore from the day before. So I did some dumbbell deadlifts, which are really good for your butt and like your under butt area. And then with my resistance band, I did some squats. And then I also did some jump squats, which are really good for getting some cardio in. And then I also did some walking, what are these called, walking squats? These really kill your uh, quads and your butt so everything I did three sets of 12 okay just got out of the shower you saw my workout I did do some other little workouts like some cardio based workouts just jumping jumping jacks <laughs> a little bit of boxing not like real boxing but I used to take a kickboxing class so I remember some of those cardio moves I'm going to speed through my makeup now because I'm listening to that podcast I was listening to yesterday and finish it the skinny confidential and I'll just speed this up Here's my little outfit of the day. Tank top is H&M. Oh my God, it's another H&M outfit. Obviously, that's like the only store I shop at. H&M, <laughs> H&M, H&M, and then the bag is Louis Vuitton. And I'm just gonna go out with my hair wet because I absolutely do not want to blow dry it. So that's the outfit. Cashier number three, please. Okay, that was a success. I just got a few things to uh, add to my business, summer business clothes collection. I also got some earrings because I don't have any stud earrings anymore. I've like lost them all. I have a lot of really cute earrings from my Rocks Box collection, but I don't always like want to wear long ones. So I got these Cynthia Rowley Cubic Zirconia earring set and this was only $12.99 and you get silver gold and rose gold so I'll put the silver in I've been doing so much shopping recently I obviously need to start working because I just like go shopping so now I'm gonna go home and try on prospective outfits for tomorrow and I need to make lunch I'm effing starving I'll figure that out when I get home and I will see you guys also when I get home. Okay, so this is the first shirt that I got. It's Calvin Klein, just like a pink pleated shirt, I don't know. And I would wear it with my navy ruby pants from J. Crew. 
and I would obviously like need a blazer so I could wear my navy blazer that matches this. Obviously I wouldn't wear a black bra underneath, but this is the first option. This is good because I feel like it's not super, I don't want to like show up in a full suit and it be an office where people are wearing jeans, you know, but I also don't want to show up in business casual and then it end up being a business professional office. So I feel like this is a nice intermediary, especially with just a blazer. So this is the first shirt and this is what it looks like not tucked in. So shirt number one, this is shirt number two. It's just like a quarter sleeve, little bell top. And I'm just wearing my H&M pull on slacks and I would just wear, I guess, heels. And then I would wear a statement necklace cause this is like very plain. And I wouldn't have to wear a blazer with this because it's, you know, my shoulders and everything are covered. This, I feel like it's a lot of black. I mean, it is a lot of black. It's black on black. So I don't know. I feel like the other outfit is good for the first day. And then this is good for just days where I am not feeling creative with my outfit. But I have one other option. I also bought this cardigan at TJ Maxx, which is just like perfect for the summer that you can throw on. And you won't sweat that bad when you're walking in the streets. But it also... We'll keep you a little warm. Most office buildings, the air conditioner is just on blast at all times. I'm not gonna wear this tomorrow. I don't really even think it's that flattering or anything, but I just wanted to show you. The other thing that I got, which is not for work, obviously, is just this little cropped t-shirt. I love little shirts like this for the summer with jeans or shorts. It's just like perfect. It's a light blue color. I think it was like $7. And I also just got a set of these Nautica bras they're so comfortable i'm wearing the white one right now they are lightly padded but they're just so comfortable so that's all i'm gonna put all this stuff away now i figured out what i'm gonna wear tomorrow but you'll have to watch my next vlog my first day of work vlog to figure out what i'm gonna wear so for lunch i'm making one of these vegetarian chicken patties with avocado and lettuce on some of this Dave's killer bread. I'm just gonna cook that quickly because I'm so hungry. And then I guess figure out what to do with the rest of my day. Now that I figured out what I'm gonna wear, I guess like charge my portable charging thing for my bag. I'll just tell you later when I'm actually doing it. Update. I'm going to Barnes and Noble because I figured probably like a good use of my time while I'm on the train for two hours a day approximately would be to read a book because it's not like I have Wi-Fi on the train so I really don't need to bring my iPad it's just like am I gonna sit on my phone on Instagram for 40 minutes a day or so like I could but I feel like it could be a better use of my time to read a book even though I'm gonna get a fictional book at the bookstore I think I'm gonna get When Life Gives You Lululemons. I was gonna read that last summer, but I just never did. So I'm gonna read it this summer. And I also need to get gas, so I don't have to get gas in the morning. And that's pretty much it. So I'll see you at Barnes & Noble. Okay, I got two books. I love the bookstore. I was actually just watching one of Brooke Michio's new videos and she was talking about how much she loves Barnes and Noble. I also love Barnes and Noble. First of all, it just reminds me of my childhood. My parents, especially my dad, used to always take me to Barnes and Noble. So first I just got uh, when Life Gives You Lululemons. I'll link both of these below. It's actually like a spinoff sort of of the Devil Wears Prada. It's like a continuum of that, but it's a little different. It's sort of like, I don't want to say it's a mystery, but like kind of drama. And then this one, if you watched me last summer, you remember I read the book by her called Me After You, and I loved that book. I read it in like two days, 
it was just a love story and I didn't realize she had written so many books um Jojo Moyes or Moyes she's written a lot of books so I went through all her books I was gonna read the follow-up of me after you or me before you but it seemed kind of sad I won't say but it seemed kind of sad so I didn't want to read that so we'll see this kind of seems like dramatic but these are all the books she's written she's written so many and I loved her first one but I need like a romance novel in my life I love romance books not like the really cheesy ones but now I'm gonna get gas and go home it suddenly got very cold and very dark so I do have my bathrobe on which is just a common occurrence in these parts but I'm gonna make a smoothie because I'm I'm not really that hungry to be quite honest, but yesterday I ate dinner at like 4.30 and I was starving the whole night. I ate so much random crap last night just because I was hungry from eating dinner at 4.30. So I'm gonna make a smoothie. That was a really long explanation just cause I'm making a smoothie, <laughs> whatever. This is my Pepto-Bismol smoothie. Hi, Lucy. Are you done barking at the mailman? Like a crazy freaking maniac, dude? Probably scared the crap out of him. Come on. But I just made a very delicious smoothie. Looks like Pepto-Bismol, me and Dakota. I should sit here and vlog more often. This is great lighting. Um, It's a banana, a few peaches, like three strawberries, a scoop of vanilla protein, ice, and water. I finished making probably one of the most gourmet, healthy meals I've ever made. Macaroni and cheese. <laughs> the night before I start my adult job, I'm eating boxed macaroni and cheese. That's just who I am. It's my favorite. But you know what? It's organic, so it's like almost healthy, right? And I did eat very healthy today, if I do say so myself. So I'm going to eat my organic macaroni and cheese watch some Kiki Chanel Kylie videos. I love her. She's hilarious. And that's it. I just took off my makeup. I'm going to do a little face mask. This is the Matcha Mud Mask. Sorry, my uh, memory was full. But now I'm just going to sit here and absorb this face mask. Continue watching YouTube and I will sign off. And okay, I just curled my hair so that hopefully in the morning it's like still semi curled so that I won't have to do it in the morning. I'm gonna go to bed or attempt to go to bed. It's 9 20, so hopefully I can get to sleep at a decent hour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Next video will probably be working vlog, which I know you guys like. So back to the regular content in my next video. But that's all. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you aren't, and I'll see you again in the next video. Peace out.